Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Sad News. I'm Jeff Brook, and this is going to be the next video on the women's prelims as we dive into Sweden, ending with a bang, uh, beating Denmark 3-1 to one after beating China 2-1 to one in the game against China that they were able to come out with a 2-1 to one victory. Soderberg played another good game. Zhao played a solid game uh, for China. Uh, when we look at the overall, um, the shots were actually, ver well, were actually dead even in this game. And it was a very good back-and-forth tilt between Sweden and the Chinese team. Um, this was one of the more fun overall games to watch because it was one of the closest overall games to watch, but there wasn't always many of them uh, in, the, in the prelims, which I think there will be more in the playoffs, hopefully, but there wasn't as many in the prelims. Um, so I think this obviously was a game that had more of an impact um, in terms of your eyeballs being locked into every second. And... What it goes with this game, I said with some other videos, this game didn't have as much scoring because of the power play. Now, Sweden knocked themselves off the power play. They only won it for 45 seconds. But China was on it for 4 minutes and 45 seconds. That's one of the main reasons they didn't win because they weren't able to get anything past Soderbergh and they definitely could have had an opportunity to get something past her there. Not that she didn't come up big on the PK when there were shots on. But it's more... Those are your opportunities from Team China's perspective to get back in it. They didn't score a goal on the power play. That damned them is Team Sweden with the star-studded power. Um, they have, similar to what I said about them beating Denmark when I did the video from the Denmark perspective, um, they just have more of the star power. And if you get in a log jam, close game with them, it's likely going to go to their end just because they have this... The, the great speed, great skill, and not not always the consistent defense, but they do have a good defense when it shows, and it's just about now having that consistently locked in like they played against Team China, and now moving into the next game, uh, like they played against Denmark to win 3-2-1, uh, which was a game that, again, was really close in shots. Denmark actually outshot them 26-21, to but the Swedes got a couple opportunities via, again, their speed, their skill, and their good passing, and their ability to just find ways to get things through, whether it's a good pass or whether it's able to get get around somebody on the boards via their speed and finesse. Uh, Sweden was able to use all those characteristics to a T um, against Denmark because this game was a battle-to-the-wire type game too, just like it was against China. But again, it goes back to Sweden being the team, and especially with Denmark being in their first tournament uh, with, with in terms of the Olympics, being the team that uh, just showed up in the end and showed out and found the extra like little bit on the gas pedal to find a way to get those couple extra goals, of course, um, w which is what you s would expect a team like them to do that has what I just said in their characteristics and the stars of their team compared to China, who has a couple stars, but most of their stars, minus a couple, minus like two, the sisters, are from, um, if I'm thinking of that right, that might be Japan that has the sisters. But either way, most of their stars are from the foreign nationalities when it's the dual nationality thing. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel going and growing. I really appreciate you all who have supported the channel. Love you all for it. Peace out, everybody.